Today we are decluttering 101 items throughout my house in a whole house declutter. Why 101 items? Why not? I just watched 101 Dalmatians with my kids and that number was already drilled into my head. So the clock's ticking, I gotta go get my kids in a few hours and we gotta go declutter 101 items before then. Let's go. As long as we're in my office slash guest room, we'll start here. First with this random hodgepodge of mess on my bookshelf. Oh, and also just to be clear, this is not a cleaning video. I am on a tight timeline. I got 101 items to declutter. I am solely focused on decluttering here. You can't clean clutter and my house is very cluttered right now so it's getting harder to clean. I'm not looking for my life to be harder than it needs to be so I'm getting some good decluttering done so that cleaning going forward can be easier. All right with that out of the way let's get to decluttering. We'll start with this basket full of PR first. Mm, I use my Cricut stuff so much I, I'm nervous to get rid of stuff but I have this mini hot press and a mini mat for it, but I just use my regular large heat press all the time, so I don't really need this mini ones. I am not brave enough to try to dye my own hair, so I don't foresee myself using any of this Madison Reed stuff. We have a broken headset here. Some things I can't explain why I ever kept it. Was this from when I worked in a call center? No, it wasn't. I don't know why I have this. My old Cosmopolitan high school prescription glasses. They're a little bit crooked. <laughs> I don't need to hold on to these anymore. They're not the style. They're not the vibe. They're crooked, which is probably the biggest reason I don't need them. Not even the right prescription anymore. So goodbye. My heating pad can go in with my heated blanket over here. This bin will just be miscellaneous cricket items. Wow. So how many items did I get rid of just off this bottom shelf here? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 12 out of 101 items. Items already decluttered. All right, let's move on up. Only need one letter board. There's no reason for me to hold on to two. I think I like this little one. I'm keeping all of this. Let's move on up. What is back here? I don't need this. This is going into declutter. Then I have this probably nine to 10 year old DSLR camera that I have never used. My husband got it for his work and then didn't need it for his work anymore and gave it to me. So I think I'm gonna look and see what I can sell this for on the Facebook market. Now to my office closet. I have more random stuff. Basically, I'm going to random parts of my house that have no rhyme or reason and decluttering stuff from there because if it's a random area with no rhyme or reason, chances are there's items to declutter. So that is where I'm at now. This hanging organizer here has my very old planner from not currently. I, I don't need an old planner. So that is an easy declutter. What is it with all these random headsets? in here. Like I don't run a call center at my home. Don't know why I have all of these. I did work at a call center at one time, but I didn't steal my headset on the way out. And this was a nicer headset than they gave us anyways, but I don't need this. So goodbye. No AirPods in here, so I can toss this packaging. Some random swag that I'm never gonna wear that I got somewhere. More random swag shirts that I'm not gonna wear. One, two, three. When I first started YouTube, I bought this giant green blanket to basically create my own green screen, but little did I know with technology now, you don't need green screen blankets. I'm not doing like a Hollywood style productions over here, so this can go. I've never used it. What do we got hiding in this corner over here? Some pack packaging that I don't need. More packaging that I don't, oh, call center package. Do I get to count packaging as decluttered items? Uh, I'm gonna say no, I feel like that's cheating. I'm never gonna wear those clothes, declutter. Oh, what is in here? I've never used this, so I don't need it. I am decluttering so many wires right now, but if you've watched previous decluttering videos of mine, you know that I have an abundance of cords for anything and everything in my house. I've organized them in previous videos. Uh, my cupeth, what is the term? My cupeth overflow, overrunneth, whatever. My cupeth is full of cords for all the technology in my house. And the fact that this box has been sitting up in my office closet untouched and I have not missed a single cord in here tells me that I don't need anything in this box. So I'm just tossing it, basically. Unless it's my mom's stuff, like my mom's glasses. I won't throw away your glasses, mom. FYI, they're here at my house in my closet. Oh, we got a 
pretty nail polish here. I'll keep that. Essentially, when I come across random boxes of crap in my house, I just pilfer through, see what useful items I can take from it, and then everything else can go. More empty packaging. I don't, I don't need this. This is a sentimental item I plan on keeping. When I found out that I was pregnant with my third boy, we did an announcement. We had my twins wear player one and player two t-shirts, and then I had this little baby onesie as player three to obviously hint at the fact that I was having a third boy. This, I'll put this in my memorabilia box for my son Wesley. These dresses need to go in my actual closet downstairs. I'm already feeling satisfied about how much I'm getting decluttered, but on the back end, I know it's going to take me a while to put away items in their proper homes because so far there's a ton that I'm not decluttering, but they're items that are just not in the right place. Like those dresses I just put out. I need to put Wesley's little onesie in his memorabilia box. I have items to mail to my mom. These declutter days are great because I get rid of a lot of stuff that is just taking up space in my home and thus my brain. But they're also useful because it forces me to take the time to put items I like back in their original homes so that I can get use out of them. Another bin to house and hold all the items that I have to put back back in their proper home. And then I wanna be careful with my mom's glasses, but I am gonna mail these to her. Wow, I am on a decluttering roll. Maybe I underestimated how much of a hoarder I still am because I feel like it's gonna be pretty easy to hit 100 items. What am I at here? One, two, three, not counting packaging. Four, five, 29. Yep, I feel like I still have a problem with stuff in my house. With the 13 plus 29, we're at 42 items that I'm bagging into a trash and donate pile. Next, this is going to be the easiest decluttering of the entire day, but we are in my boy's closet. And I have implemented a new process to help decluttering my kids' clothes be just a bajillion times easier, and you're about to see why. So, you know, kids grow. I have five-year-old twins and a three-year-old. They're all in the same exact size, but they grow out of clothes gradually. They rip clothes. I don't have to explain it. You get the drill. <laughs> but in the past, I have spent way too much time going through my boys' clothes to figure out what fits them still or not, what's still in good condition, what we should give away. And these two bins, have made my life so much easier. Now, if my boys are trying to put something on and I realize it's too small for them, it goes into this bin to then be donated once it's full. And when my boys decide they wanna play rough and tumble outside and they start scraping up their pants and getting holes in them, they go in this bin, which I buy all my pants from Cat and Jack from Target, which has a one year guarantee. I can take all the pants that have holes in them in this bin to Target and return them for free and get brand new pants to replace them because they're supposed to last for an entire year. I mentioned this process in a video probably a month or so ago, but they are full bins now, so I'm at the point where I can declutter everything from both of these bins. So let's count them out. Here we go. These are all the clothes that they have grown out of. So one, two, 15, 16, and then random odds and ends. So 16 pieces of clothing can be donated to the Goodwill here. And then these are all the clothes that I'm basically decluttering by returning them to be replaced with new ones from Target. So let's count these out. Nine pairs of pants here to replace. Let's just say each pair is worth $10. This is saving me $90 by saving all the ripped pants in here so that I can get brand new ones to replace them. So so nine plus 16, we got 25 items to add to our declutter. Just from the upstairs, this is what has been accomplished so far. We have a whole bag of trash there, all of my Target clothes to go return, two donate bags here. This is just some of the stuff I have to put away in their appropriate home. And then this is a whole bunch of a larger declutter items and then items I need to sell on the Facebook market. Now we got to do some decluttering in this kitchen, which is pretty messy right now. Man, maybe I should have set a more challenging goal than 101 items to declutter because I feel like after going through this kitchen, we'll have well exceeded that number potentially. I'm gonna start in some of these little drawers. Oh, what do we got in here? Getting rid of this. Anytime I put it on my hands, I start sneezing uncontrollably. Oh, 
these are cool. I need to put a couple of these in my bags, but they are compressed towels. I got them from the Daiso store. I'll show you how one of them works. They're so cool. I bought them many a times over and used them up. But let's say your kids spilled something on themselves or on the floor and you have a massive mess. This takes up barely any space in your purse, but once you got some water on it, expands up. It becomes this large, fairly sturdy rag that you can dispose of afterwards. And you can soak up whatever you got, squeeze it out, and reuse it. I think I'll use this to clean up my kitchen later. All right, two items decluttered out of here so far. These are going into my keep pile, but they belong somewhere else. I have this large container of thin rubber bands. Whenever I go out of town, I roll my kids' outfits into bundles together with underwear, pants, shirts, all in one, and secure it with these rubber bands. It makes getting everyone ready so much easier when you're going out of town. All right, what are these keys? I'm gonna test these out. I don't know where these lead to. If they don't work, I don't need them. My husband came home and is cooking in the kitchen and he doesn't really wanna be on camera, hence why you have never really seen him on my channel. So we're going to take a quick field trip and start decluttering my closet and then move back to the kitchen. And as long as we're in here, I'm also going to put away some of the items that were sitting in my closet upstairs but belong down here. One category of items I know I can get through and get rid of some of the stuff are my bras. I have just a ridiculous amount of bras and I don't wear most of them. I know I'm never going to wear this one again. It is not comfortable at all. Yeah, I'm never going to wear this one. This is still probably more bras than I need here, but I, I like all the ones remaining over there. Oh, I don't need this one. Is this the best way to organize bras? Probably not, but it's how I organize them and I can always find everything. So I got rid of three bras there. Then I recently decluttered dresses, probably too much, because now I feel like I have no dresses at all, so I'm not going to filter this down anymore. Let's move to some of my cube drawers. Hmm, I've done a pretty good job of keeping this area clutter-free. There's nothing I need to get rid of here. Summer's coming up, so I'm just going to quick peek through my clothes. If there's any items that I did not wear once throughout all of fall and winter and spring, I'm going to declutter it, because I'm probably not going to wear it the next time it is cold if I haven't worn it in the last season. All right, four items. Oh, and this is another bra that I found on the floor and I'm going to donate. It's so uncomfortable. I hate this bra. We'll never wear it. I should burn it, but I'll donate it. All right, got rid of four shirts, four bras. I'm keeping all my shorts and pants and keeping all my dresses. All right, I've been keeping track of everything on my phone. Let's do the math so far. I need a calculator. I can't do the simple math. We're already at 78 items. That's only, let me do the math, only 23 more items to go to hit the original goal, which I know I'm going to exceed that now. Next, we're gonna declutter some items that I don't think I've ever touched in any decluttering video yet, and that is my jewelry box. So it'll be interesting to see what really old treasures are in here. I laugh because none of this is that expensive. 99% of it is costume jewelry. My wedding ring, I guess I'll put that back on for this video, but I haven't been wearing it lately because it scratches my kids so much that I've just taken it off so that I don't injure my children. Oh my gosh. It's just a knot of jewelry here. Oh gosh, and I can already tell I'm, I'm decluttering a lot of this. I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of rusted, so it infects my ears, which is not what I want. Don't want infected goopy ears. So I'm going to throw away any of them that have rusty ear holder socket things. I don't even know how to untangle this. I can tell looking at everything in this tangle, none of it is valuable. All of it is costume jewelry that I haven't worn in years. So I don't feel bad about getting rid of it. Even though this is multiple items, I'm just counting this whole mess of a ball as one. So there we go, one. Oh my gosh, another blob of items. I'm just counting as one. have in here. Anyone remember when Michael Kors watches were the thing? I remember when I got my first big girl job, I would wear this every single day, but I haven't worn this in probably over eight years at this point, so it can go. So what am I getting rid of here? One, two, oh, I'm keeping this. Four, five, six, thirteen. 
15 items going away here. Oh my gosh, more jewelry in here. This was my go-to when I had my button up and my little power suit, I would wear this every single day. But I haven't worn this in well over five years. This was the statement necklace I wore to the office when I was feeling funky. <laughs> All my little chunky statement necklaces are here. So much of this jewelry can probably go away just for the simple fact that I don't wear jewelry. So many chokers. My choker phase was strong. I have so many chokers. This is all, this is all gonna go. I have not worn this in years. I still don't really wear jewelry. One, two, three, four, five, six, 32. And with this, we have gotten over the 101 threshold. We are, I, I feel it. We're gonna break 200 in this video. And I won't count this towards the total, but we got some just useless packaging here. So all this packaging can go. More useless packaging. Don't ask me why I, I save packaging for so long. I think I save it because I feel like if I want to return something, it's just easier if I have the package showing that I somewhat recently bought it. But then it ends up just sitting out and dust collects and it looks messy. So we're getting rid of that now. Here is just from this closet so far. We are at 120 six items decluttered so far throughout my entire house, not including trash, like all these huge boxes that I'm getting out of the way. Back to the kitchen, I'm eating an airhead because we still have a crap load of candy from Easter sitting on top of the fridge right now, so that is getting decluttered right now. I gotta pilfer through these first to see if there's anything useful in here or things that I'm fine with my kids eating, like these go-go squeezes that can go in their lunch boxes, these bubbles for outside. We don't need a massive chunk of chocolate or these peeps or really any of this candy. I'm going to take any of the unopened candy and put it in this bag over here. I believe any unopened candy is welcome for food donations. All right, bag number two. There's so many wrappers in here. He hates so much of this candy. So I'm counting getting rid of all the contents in each of these three bags as decluttering three items. Next, let's keep working through the cabinets and drawers. We already addressed this first junk drawer and now let's move on over. This is starting to look like a junk drawer, but it is not supposed to be. Put my tomato slash grape slicer all together. I'm gonna store it along with my stem gem. We got two of these and then this little meat heater too. I don't think we need three. I have so many gadgets in here, but so many of the gadgets I love. This is a little cookie dough baller, but it works great at getting the perfect mini size ice cream scoops that still look like real ice cream scoops so your kids are happy, but it's obviously way less of an amount than a regular ice cream scoop. Not perfect, but better done than perfect. And I at least got rid of one, two items and then put a few items back in their proper homes, which were not this drawer, so I feel good about it. Next drawer to address and declutter and organize is our utensil drawer. All these measuring cups are just a mess. I know I wanna keep all of these, but they can look nicer than they currently do. I've had these for over a year plus now, and I love them. They are magnetic, so they stay together even as you jumble the drawers and open and close them. As long as you put them together like this, they stay perfectly together thanks to the magnet. Being that I have these measuring spoons here, I probably don't need these ones. This is another cool one that my husband got and I am going to keep them just in case I'm doing a lot of cooking and these are starting to get dirty. But this one here, you can see it has all the measurements here and you can move it and get half a teaspoon right there or move it again. You get one teaspoon right there now or if you want to do milliliters, you follow this arrow and then they have it on the other end as well for tablespoons. So this is just a really neat, useful gadget. If you only want one single thing for all of your tablespoon and teaspoon measurements, this is what you need. But sometimes I just wanna use the individual old fashioned tablespoons here if I wanna have a whole bunch of measurements already prepped out for the process. I like having two sets of measuring cups and the two sets of teaspoons, tablespoons, just for when you're doing a lot of cooking. Sometimes you need more than one set. Then I already know I'm keeping all the forks, knives, spoons, everything thing here because if anything I could use a few more of the kids stuff here the kids stuff is all just a jumble it was impossible to keep organized but we don't we don't need these broken off spoon heads here 
These were really fun. When my boys were younger, they loved eating with these, but now they feel like they're for babies. Declutter those. And these pockets here are looking pretty dirty. I know this was not a cleaning video, but ew, that's pretty gross to have the utensils we're supposed to be eating with sitting in like a cesspool. This utensil holder is from the brand OXO. I like it because it's adjustable and holds a ton. I'll have this and anything else I shared in this video that is linkable linked below in the description box. Always appreciate it if you shop my links for items you're interested in because it helps my channel. And if you want to further help my channel without spending a dime, just click that like button if you're still here because it helps my videos as well and can be counted as your good deed for the day. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items decluttered from that drawer. Now moving to some of these lower cabinets. This cabinet really isn't that full because I hate that. This organizer, while it was installed with good intentions of helping to keep things organized, it really is pretty useless. It doesn't hold any of our bigger pots or pans, which most of my pots and pans are larger since I cook for a family. And then even the smaller ones, if it has anything that sticks out of it, it just makes this loud, obnoxious metal against metal noise when you pull it out. I need to figure out how to uninstall these one of these days. It is a complete waste of precious cabinet space near a very important part of our kitchen. So I'll do that now. I'm gonna uninstall these right now. Then maybe as I continue along organizing everything, I can actually put some stuff in here, which would be very useful. We don't have this cabinet to just house a useless organizer. I know this is a decline clutter day video and I'm uninstalling something, but you know what? This is clutter, so it is worth uninstalling. From the moment that was installed, it had been useless and I should have just taken it out, but I feel like since we spent the money on it and took the time to install it, I didn't want to take it out, but then it was just a waste of space for years. Just do it. Just remove it if it's getting in the way, if it's not working out, if it's not a good organization tool, it's not worth keeping just for the sake of you bought it and you installed it. Cleaning out these two wire racks, that adds two more decluttered items to today's list. The other stuff that was sitting in there, I guess I'm gonna keep in there. I'm keeping all these items. Next cabinet we have here, I'm eating some more candy right now, so excuse any like smacking. Hopefully none of y'all have misophonia. This cabinet right here has all of our mixing bowls, which I am 100% keeping every single one of these. Some of our larger cheese graters over here. We have all of our strainers. Four stackable strainers right here and my rice strainer. So I'll keep all of these together. What we don't probably need is this plastic strainer here. However, this is one of my favorite strainers because it takes up so little room. I love how you pop it out to be the large strainer it is. And then when you're not using it, it folds down and completely flat. I have another one of these, a green one. I'm gonna be bad. I know it's declutter day. I'm keeping all my strainers because I love them all so much. So many that they can't even then all properly stack in here. I'm gonna get rid of all of these snapware ones here because the lids just become so messy. I, I do really like them for the most part, but it's hard to keep them organized. Whereas these ones here, where you screw on the lid, the lids stack together so much easier that it's easier for it to stay organized and looking nice. Anything with the screw on lids, I am keeping. Plenty of Tupperware here for my three kids. I don't need the excess. Especially because lately we've been using these Tupperwares a ton to make our own homemade Lunchables. I have 12 of these between my three kids. I can meal prep if I am feeling very productive and basically make four days of lunches in these containers here. Clearly all of them are empty right now. So I have not been as productive as I would like to be, but I love making the at-home Lunchables for my kids. So I am certainly keeping all of those. All right, but I feel good with this. I got my cheese graters here. Here. Some of my fruit storage back there. I, I need to go grocery shopping. We have no fruit right now. Homemade Lunchable containers, large leftover containers, small lunchbox containers, and then all my strainers. But I'm happy with this. It is organized and I know where everything is. Nine containers that I took out. This next cabinet is the last one I feel like going through in the kitchen before moving on to some of the visual clutter and other areas of the house. But I wanted to look through my kid's kitchen drawer. This cabinet right here is the cabinet dedicated to my kids. It's low to the ground so they can reach everything. They have no reason 
to not be able to set their own table, get their own cups, their own waters, etc. And then I have some bowls down here for them and some of their thermoses for their school lunches. I really like these small funtainer thermoses. If I make a dinner and one of my kids really seems to like it, I can heat it up the next morning, put it in the funtainer and stick it in their lunchbox. And by lunchtime, they eat lunch around 11.15. It's still perfectly warm for them. The only thing I feel like I could declutter and get rid of is some of these mini containers. What I'm going to do next here is clearly my kitchen is a mess. That there's, I'm sure there's things I can declutter on all of these counters right here. So. I'm going to clean up my kitchen, clear away the clutter, declutter what I can, and see how many of those decluttering points I can rack up right now. Got a sock, random rocks that my kids found outside. I'm gonna stick these back outside and count them as the third thing I've decluttered off the counter. This cabinet here could definitely be organized as well. It's starting to overflow with items. I don't have time for it. I, I just gotta put what I can up here. My husband can see it right away, the things he wants. I just need it off the counter and then I'll organize this another day. Today is just decluttering. But look how clear the counter is now. I really cannot stand visual clutter on my counters anymore. So while I know my cabinets are still a mess, I'll get to those in the future. Better done than perfect is my motto right now. The kitchen was out of control. This is by no means a deep clean. I am just at least getting the kitchen to a condition where it's not a mess and we can cook in it again. And I told you this ain't a cleaning video. So I'm just tossing pots, pans, strainers, things I would normally not put in my dishwasher into the dishwasher because it just needs to get done. And I know this seems random, but since it's like such a light load, I am going to put in some of my sponges that are dishwasher safe. Better done than perfect. Better done than perfect. The quickest wipe down ever. Perfect, just wiping all the crumbs onto the floor and then my robo back is going to take care of it. This is why I have enjoyed the results of my decluttering journey so much because it takes so little time to clean up once things are decluttered. And again, I really did the absolute minimum when it came to the actual sanitizing and cleaning, but hey, it looks clean, right? I've completely lost track of the decluttering leaderboard at this point. I'll have the number somewhere on the screen, but I hit my ultimate goal of 101. So any decluttering that is now happening afterwards is just bonus brownie points for myself. And next, we'll focus on my fridge because I do need to go grocery shopping soon. And I feel like there's a good amount that needs to be decluttered out of here because it's no good anymore. Like this leftover Thai food here. We're, we're not gonna eat it, I don't think, at this point. We have an empty carton of milk in here next to the full one, so we'll keep that. Oh my gosh, another empty carton of milk and the full one. So we can take out the empty cartons of milk. How many items do we have to add to the leaderboard? We have the empty milks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is going in the pantry. So add seven to the leaderboard, my. Oh my gosh, how does this pantry get so out of control so fast? I can't deal with that right now. We're gonna move over here. When my mom visits, she always makes herself random mixed drinks that my husband and I don't really drink, so I'll save this all for her. You know what, Mama? I'm giving you your own dedicated cabinet. I have this Nespresso machine, which I absolutely loved this once upon a time before COVID messed up my taste and smell. My taste and smell is pretty much completely back to normal, but coffee, for some reason, coffee just still smells and tastes bad to me post Used to love it, hence why I got the Nespresso machine. Now, it's just not my cup of tea or coffee. <laughs> but I am keeping this here because when I have guests come to visit, like my mom, they like Nespresso coffee, so I wanna be a good host and I will keep the Nespresso for when people come to visit. Oh, and this is so cool. I wish this had been available when I did like coffee, but Starbucks now sells the Virtuo Pods for the Nespresso machine, which is great. 
Back when I could drink Nespresso, the only things that worked were Nespresso specific pods. So it's kind of cool that they have Starbucks pods now. All right, since this is the cabinet meant for my mom, since no one else ever comes and visits in my family, I'm just gonna put her ginger beers and weird mixers up here as well. All the items for my mom can be found right here now. Okay, decluttered this space. It looks fairly neat, except I really don't like the look of this. I guess I'm not charging anything right at this moment, so I could technically store it somewhere, but the weekend is coming up, and as soon as the weekend hits, all the tablets, all the electronics are allowed, and we need the charging station out for that. So, keeping it out. But this space here is at least better than it was before, and everything here is meant to be here, and we get use out of. Next, our dining room table always racks up so much stuff. It's kind of like the kitchen island. It becomes a dumping ground for things that we just don't feel like putting away right away. When we really should just put things away right away and then it wouldn't accumulate like this. Oh, that was a lot of decluttering. I'm gonna pat myself on the back because I beat 101 items. I don't know by how much at this point, but I know I beat it, so I'm proud of myself. Now, there is just all the stuff surrounding me that's been decluttered. Some of it is trash, some of it needs to be returned to Target, some of it needs to be sold on the Facebook Marketplace, and then some of it just needs to go to Goodwill. So I still have a lot to do to address everything that is piled around me, but the decluttering is done, and that is what this video is about. So this video is over. If you enjoyed this Declutter Day video, be sure to like, subscribe, and then click on the playlist floating over the screen at this point. It has all my decluttering videos on it, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.